Hello, hello, welcome. Welcome to day 326 of our Bible in a Year Challenge. My name is Sandra. I'm going to be your host for today. Welcome. <clears throat> we are committed to reading our Bibles in a year with just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Yes, you heard me right, just less than 20 minutes daily read time. Please kindly go ahead right now, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Aruleba. Let's get started. Day 326, November 22nd, 2023. 365 days Bible reading. Old Testament. Ezekiel 41, Ezekiel 42, New Testament. 1 Peter 1, Psalms and Proverbs. Psalm 131, verse 1 to 3. <clears throat> Old Testament, NIV version. Ezekiel 41, verse 1 to 26. Then the man brought me to the main hall and measured the jams. The width of the jams was six cubits on each side. The entrance was ten cubits wide and the projecting walls on each side of it were five cubits wide. He also measured the main hall. It was 40 cubits long and 20 cubits wide. <clears throat> then he went into the inner sanctuary and measured the jams of the entrance. Each was two cubits wide. The entrance was six cubits wide and the projecting walls on each side of it were seven cubits wide. And he measured the length of the inner sanctuary. It was 20 cubits and its width was 20 cubits across the end of the main hall. He said to me, <clears throat> This is the most holy place. Then he measured the wall of the temple. It was six cubits thick and each side room around the temple was four cubits wide. The side rooms were on three levels, one above another, 30 on each level. There were ledges all around the wall of the temple to serve as support for the side rooms so that the supports were not inserted into the wall of the temple. The side rooms all around the temple were wider at each successive level. The structure surrounding the temple was built in ascending stages so that the rooms widened as one went upward. A stairway went up from the lowest floor to the top floor through the middle floor. I saw that the temple had a raised bar, base rather, all around it forming the foundation of the side rooms it was the length of the rod six long cubits the outer wall of the side rooms was five cubits thick the open area between the side rooms of the temple and the priest rooms was 20 cubits wide all around the temple there were entrances to the side rooms from the open area one on the north and another on the south and the base adjoining the open area was five cubits wide all around. The building facing the temple courtyard <clears throat> on the west side was 70 cubits wide. The wall of the building was five cubits thick all around and its length was 90 cubits. And then he measured the temple. It was a hundred cubits long and the temple courtyard and the building with its walls were also a hundred cubits long. The width of the temple courtyard on the east including the front of the temple was a hundred cubits. Then he measured the length of the building facing the courtyard at the rear of the temple including its galleries on each side. It was a hundred cubits the main hall, the inner sanctuary, and the portico facing the courts, as well as the thresholds and the narrow windows and galleries around the three of them. Everything beyond and including the threshold was covered with wood. The floor, the wall up to the windows, and the windows were covered. In the space above the outside of the entrance to the inner sanctuary, and on the walls at regular intervals all around the inner and outer sanctuary, were carved cherubim and palm trees palm trees alternated with cherubim each cherub had two faces the face of a human being toward the palm tree on one side and the face of a lion toward the palm tree on the other they were carved all around the whole temple from the floor to the area above the entrance cherubim and palm trees were carved on the wall of the main hall 
The main hall had a rectangular door frame and the one at the front of the most holy place was similar. There was a wooden altar, three cubits high and two cubits square, its corners, its base and its sides were of wood. The man said to me, this is the table <clears throat> that is before the Lord. Both the main hall and the most holy place had double doors. Each door had two leaves, two hinged leaves for each door, and on the doors of the main hall were carved cherubim and palm trees like those carved on the walls, and there was a wooden overhang on the front of the portico. On the side walls of the portico were narrow windows with palm trees carved on each side. The side rooms of the temple also had overhangs. Ezekiel 42, 1-20 to The rooms for the priest. Then the man led me northward into the outer court and brought me to the rooms opposite the temple courtyard and opposite the outer wall on the north side. The building was door-faced north was a hundred cubits long and fifty cubits wide. Both in the section twenty cubits from the inner court and in the section opposite the pavement of the outer court gallery faced gallery at the three levels. In front of the rooms was an inner passageway 10 cubits wide and 100 cubits long their doors were on the north now the upper rooms were narrower for the galleries took more space from them than from the rooms on the lower and middle floors of the building the rooms on the top floor had no pillars as the courts had so they were smaller in floor space than those on the lower and middle floors there was an outer wall parallel to the rooms and the outer court. It extended in front of the rooms for 50 cubits. While the row of rooms on the side next to the outer court was 50 cubits long, the row on the side nearest the sanctuary was 100 cubits long. The lower rooms had an entrance on the east side as one enters them from the outer court. On the south side, along the length of the wall of the outer court, Adjoining the temple courtyard and opposite the outer wall were rooms with a passageway in front of them. These were like the rooms on the north. They had the same length and width with similar exits and dimensions. Similar to the doorways on the north were the doorways of the rooms on the south. There was a doorway at the beginning of the passageway that was parallel to the corresponding wall extending eastward by which one enters the rooms. Then he said to me, the north and south rooms facing the temple courtyard are the priest rooms where the priests who approach the Lord will eat the most holy offerings. There they will put the most holy offerings, the grain offerings, the sin offerings and the guilt offerings for the place is holy. Once the priests enter the holy presence, they are not to go into the outer court until they leave behind the garments in which they minister, for these are holy. They are to put on other clothes before they go near the places that are for the people. When he had finished measuring what was inside the temple area, he led me out by the east gate and measured the area all around. He measured the east side with the measuring rod. It was 500 cubits. He measured the north side. It was 500 cubits by the measuring rod. He measured the south side. It was 500 cubits by the measuring rod. Then he turned to the west side and measured. It was 500 cubits by the measuring rod. So he measured the area on all four sides. It had a wall around it. 500 cubits long and 500 cubits wide to separate the holy from the common. New Testament NIV version 1 Peter 1 verse 1 to 25. Peter, an apostle of Jesus Christ, to God's elect, exiles scattered throughout the provinces of Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bethany, who have been chosen according to the foreknowledge of God the Father through the sanctifying work of the Spirit to be obedient to Jesus Christ and sprinkled with his blood, grace and peace be yours in abundance. 
Praise to God for a living hope, praise be, to the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In his great mercy, he has given us new birth into a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead and into an inheritance that can never perish, spoil or fade. This inheritance is kept in heaven for you who through faith are shielded by God's power unto the coming of the salvation that is ready to be revealed in the last time. In all this you greatly rejoice, though now for a little while you may have had to suffer grief in all kinds of trials. These have come so that the proven genuineness of your faith of greater worth than gold which perishes, even though refined by fire, may result in praise, glory, and honor when Jesus Christ is revealed. Though you have not seen him, you love him, and even though you do not see him now, you believe in him and are filled with an inexpressible and glorious joy. For you are receiving the end result of your faith, the salvation of your souls." Concerning this salvation, the prophets who spoke of the grace that was to come to you searched intently and with the greatest care, trying to find out the time and circumstances to which the Spirit of Christ in them was pointing when he predicted the sufferings of the Messiah and the glories that would follow. It was revealed to them that they were not serving themselves but you. When they spoke, of the things that have now been told you by those who have preached the gospel to you by the Holy Spirit sent from heaven. Even angels long to look into these things. Be holy. Therefore, with minds that are alert and fully sober, set your hope on the grace to be brought to you when Jesus Christ is revealed at his coming. As obedient children, do not conform to the evil desires you had when you lived in ignorance. But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy because I am holy. Since you call on a father who judges each person's work impartially, live out your time. As foreigners here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things such as silver or gold that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your ancestors, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. <coughs> he was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him, you believe in God who raised him from the dead and glorified him. And so, your faith and hope are in God, now that you have purified yourselves by obeying the truth, so that you have sincere love for each other, love one another deeply from the heart. For you have been born again, not of perishable seed, but of imperishable, through the living and enduring word of God. For... All people are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of the Lord endures forever. And this is the word that was preached to you. Psalms and Proverbs, Psalm 131, verse 1 to, thir to 3. A song of ascents of David. My heart is not proud, Lord. My eyes are not haughty. I do not concern myself with great matters or things too wonderful for me, but I have calmed and quieted myself. I am like a wind child with its mother, like a wind child I am content. Israel, put your hope in the Lord both now and forevermore. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Please, if you are here and you would like to make Jesus your personal Lord and Savior, Kindly repeat this prayer after me, believing in your heart every single word you say. Lord Jesus, I confess my sins and I ask for your forgiveness. Please come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. Take complete control of my life and help me to walk in your footsteps daily by the power of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving me and for answering my prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. Congratulations. If you said this prayer, we are so excited to welcome you to God's family. Kindly go ahead right now, send us an email. Let us know you gave your heart to Christ. 
someone is going to reach out to you and pray with you and help you in your new walk of faith. The email address is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. That is salvationinchrist101 at gmail.com. God bless you. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, on Instagram, and on TikTok at Sandra Boyo Areleba. Thank you so much for being here again today. It's always a pleasure having you here. I look forward to another amazing day with you tomorrow. Have a blessed day today. I love you. Bye.